There's a whole lot of people looking down their noses at me Cause I didn't come from a wealthy family There was ten of us living in a two-room shack On the banks of the river by the railroad track We kept chickens in a pen in the back And everybody said we was poor folks My daddy was a farmer but all he ever raised was us Dug a 40-foot well, struck 36 gallons of dust The Salvation Army give us clothes to wear A man from the county came to cut our hair We lived next door to a millionaire But we wasn't nothing but poor folks We was poor folks living in a rich folks world We sure was a hungry bunch If the wolf had ever come to our front door He'd have had to brought a picnic lunch My granddaddy's pension was a dollar and thirty-three cents That was ten dollars less than the landlord wanted for rent The landlord's letters got nasty indeed He wrote, get out, but Paul couldn't read And we was too broke to even pay heed But that's how it is when you're poor folks We was poor folks living in a rich folks world We sure was a hungry bunch If the wolf had ever come to our front door He'd have had to brought a picnic lunch But we had something in our house money can't buy Kept us warm in the winter, cool when the sun was high For whenever we didn't have food enough And the howling winds would get pretty rough We patched the cracks and set the table with love Cause that's what you do when you're poor folks And we wasn't nothing but poor folks My mom and my dad was poor folks My brother and my sister was poor folks My dog and my cat was poor folks and even... You know, most people look through their wallets or their pocketbooks and way down at the bottom past the credit cards and baby pictures, green stamps, you usually find a little old dog-eared piece of poetry. I was cleaning out my wallet the other day and I ran across a whole bunch of IOUs, some of them 30 years overdue. Funny thing is that all these IOUs are owed to one person. And I kind of feel like right now might be a pretty good time for an accounting. Mom, you listening? Mom, I owe you for so many things. A lot of services, like night watchman, for instance for lying awake nights, listening for coughs, cries, creaking floorboards, and me coming in too late. You had the eye of an eagle, the roar of a lion, but you always had a heart as big as a house. 
I owe you for services as a short order cook, chef, baker, for making sirloin out of hamburger, turkey out of tuna fish, and two big old strapping boys out of leftovers. I owe you for cleaning services, for the daily scrubbing of face and ears, all work done by hand, and for the frequent dusting of a small boy's pants to try to make sure that he led a spotless life. And for washing and ironing no laundry could ever do. And for drying the tears of childhood and for ironing out the problems of growing up. I owe you for services a bodyguard, for protecting me from the terrors of thunderstorms and nightmares, and too many green apples. And Lord knows I owe you for medical attention, for nursing me through measles, mumps, bruises, bumps, splinters, and spring fever. And let's not forget medical advice either. Oh no, important things like, <laughs> don't scratch it or it won't get well. If you cross your eyes, they're going to stick like that. And probably uh, most important of all was be sure you got on clean underwear, boy, in case you're in an accident. And owe you for veterinarian services, for feeding every lost dog that I dragged home at the end of a rope, and for healing the pains of puppy love. And I owe you for entertainment. Entertainment that kept the household going during some pretty tough times. For wonderful productions at Christmas, Fourth of July, and birthdays. And for making make-believe come true on a very limited budget. I owe you for construction work. For building kites, confidence, hopes and dreams and somehow you made them all touch the sky. And for cementing a family together so it'd stand the worst kinds of shocks and blows, and for laying down a good, strong foundation to build a life on. I owe you for carrying charges, for carrying me on your books for the necessities of life that a growing boy has just got to have. Things like a uh, old pair of high top boots with a little pocket on the side for a jackknife. And one thing, Mom, I will never ever forget. When there were only two pieces of apple pie left and three hungry people, I noticed that you were the one who suddenly decided that you really didn't like apple pie in the first place. These are just a very few of the things for which payment is long overdue. The person I owe them to worked very cheap. She managed by simply doing without a whole lot of things that she needed herself. My IOUs add up to much more than I could ever hope to repay. But you know, the nicest thing about it all is that I know that she'll mark the entire bill paid in full for just one kiss and four little words. Mom, I love you. Get your tongue out. You got your tongue out. You got your tongue out. What are you supposed to do? Let <laughs> <laughs> that baby fall. Don't let that baby Fall. Did you get five for it? Oh, you're going to get a very important one. Right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.
he used to give me eggs all the time, didn't he? Was he on the like, like Piper. I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around the neck and kisses too. I love you. I love you, Pog. This is little Janie Little. I love you guys too.